Hello there. Good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to my live at five. We are at the end of the month of September. Uh, the end of uh, the month for Life Insurance Awareness Month. So uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's a great day in the great state of Maryland. And uh, I'm excited to be here with you this afternoon. Man, we are just coming from a phenomenal event here in Maryland with American Classic Agency. Uh, we had hundreds of agents that flew in town that wanted to be a part of a meeting and also uh, the Women's Wellness and Wealth event held at the Harborside Hotel the 12th consecutive year. Well, I ain't gonna say 12th consecutive, but the 12th year, because COVID stopped uh, a few of those years. But anyway, I'm glad to be here. Hello, Nick. Man, I need to see you, man. I need to see you in the place. Uh, H, you were there, you had a good time. Hello there, Shelly, good to see you all. Uh, Peach. Uh, how, how you doing? But uh, anyway, it's a great time. Uh, you know, when we come together, uh, American Classic Agency is like a family. It really is. Hey, Maria, uh, probably our longest standing employee at American Classic over 25 years, I think, Maria. So anyway, uh, if you're not a part of ACA, you're really missing out. You really are. We have a great thing going here. And we are going to put $1 billion of uh, future tax-free transferable wealth back into middle American families. And we need your help. You know, if you know of anybody that is just uh, cannot really be confident to know that they're going to have a great retirement without any doubt, or if you know someone that needs to get out of debt nine years or less, including their mortgage, without them spending any additional money, or you know someone who just needs some basic mortgage protection or they need some life insurance. Uh, if you know a child that needs life insurance, we are burying too many of our children without protection. You know, it's already a devastating scenario already, but don't let it be a financial disaster also. An emotional disaster does not have to become a financial disaster. So we still have some work to do we are making progress, but there's still plenty of work to do in middle American communities. So we are here at ACA, uh, here to help you to bridge that gap, create generational wealth, replace income, get people out of debt, whatever needs to be done, we are here to do so. So anyway, I have uh, 505, uh, just a, a few basic announcements tonight at seven o'clock. Y'all know the routine now. Tonight, we're gonna be, um, presenting the American Classic Agency opportunity by the longest tenured business partner here at ACA. His name is Bob Siegel. Bob Siegel is going to be presenting the opportunity tonight at 7 o'clock. Bob Siegel is the longest tenured business partner here at ACA. He joined in 1995. ACA was founded in 1995. Bob Siegel is the only one that's been with the organization longer than myself. And Barbara Bocavich, we don't, I mean, so Bob Siegel has been here the longest. So uh, so kudos to Bob. He does a phenomenal job at presenting. And, uh, and I'm excited to announce that the Women Wellness and Wealth event was a huge success. The next one is March the 11th, 2023 at the Harborside Hotel in Oxon Hill, Maryland. So let's get on with the subject matter. Uh, today is September the 27th, uh, 2022, and Saturday will begin the beginning of the fourth quarter. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, where has 2022 gone this year? We're almost done with it, y'all. It really is. So if we're going to finish strong in 2022, we got to do some things. 2022, the fourth quarter, cannot be business as usual. It just cannot be. We got to really do some things different if we're going to really finish strong in 2022 so that we can march into 2023. We want to break free in 2023. What do we want to break free from? Well, we want to break free from debt. We want to break free from financial bondage. We want to break free from uh, all anything that's holding you down. We want to be able to break free from that in 2023. So we got to have a different mindset. So just a few points I want to point out to you, and I'll be out your way. Number one, I shared this on Friday. I love the acronym CQ, right? S-E-C-U. 
and I don't mean state employees credit union. That's not what I'm talking about. If we're going to break free and we're going to finish strong in 2022, we got to really make some sacrifices, right? And we talked about this the other day. What are we sacrificing from? Well, we got to give up something. We got to give up. We got to give up so we can go up. We got to give up some free time. We got to give up some fun time. You may have to give up some time with your family, give up some time with your children, but we got to give up some things. We got to make some sacrifices. That's what this S is about. Sacrifice now so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor down the road. Nobody has ever done anything of any huge significance without a sacrifice. So my question is, what are you willing to sacrifice so that you can finish strong in 2022? It's going to take some sacrifice, y'all. I know what I need to sacrifice, and I'm willing to do so. I've already had the conversation with the pe people I need to have the conversation with. So you got to make some sacrifices if you're going to finish strong in 2022. For those of you all that are running businesses, regardless of what kind of business that it is. If you stop in mid-December, December the 18th, 19th, and thinking that you are done for the year, you are sadly mistaken. And let me tell you what happens with that. First of all, people want to get things done before the end of the year. That's first and foremost, especially as it relates to financial planning. But regardless of what the business it is, if you stop in mid-December because you think people aren't doing business no more and you think you're going to pick it up and run with it in January after New Year's, you know what's going to happen? Your business is not going to really get momentum until mid-January, probably after Martin Luther King's birthday. Let me tell you why. It's just like driving a car and you drive it to Alaska and you cut it off and you let it sit for two or three weeks, and you jump in that car and try to start driving it. First of all, it may not even start, and that's the same way it is in your business. And if it does start, it's gonna putter and putter before it starts to run smoothly again, probably 35 to 40 minutes, and our business two to three weeks, right? It, it may not even start getting warm until you've been driving that car for an hour or so. And that's the same way it is in your business. So you need to work through the holidays right up until December 31st if you want to get your 2023 started off correctly. So I'm just telling you what I've learned from experience. So that's the S. The E is you got to put some enthusiasm back into your business or your practice or whatever it is that you're doing. You got to have some energy. Nobody wants to follow a dud. If you ain't got no energy, nobody wants to follow you. You got to put some enthusiasm back into your business or your practice if you're going to finish strong in 2022. People want to be around people that are enthused, right? So if you've been doing this for a while, it's so easy to get bored with the fundamentals. But I'm here to tell you, you got to put some enthusiasm back into your practice, right? Think about why you joined whatever it is that you're doing. Think about why you joined. Think about why you started your business. Think about why you purchased that franchise. Have any of those things changed? I know here at ACA it's gotten sweeter. So for those of y'all that's on our team, you got to put the E back into your business, your enthusiasm, your energy back into your business, right? The C means you got to commit again, right? Commitment doesn't happen once a year. Commitment is a daily thing. You got to commit to your business. You got to commit to whatever whatever you want to be successful in your life, whether it's your business, your job, your relationship with your children, your marriage, whatever it is, you got to commit to it, right? That's really the big C is commitment, not cancer. The big C is commitment. You got to commit to it, right? Nothing of any significance will happen unless you commit to it. And I know people probably say, man, you say the same old things all the time. But some of y'all ain't got it. You got to commit to this thing. It doesn't happen overnight. The people that win are the people that's most committed. That's really all it is. But here's what else I've learned over the years is that nothing was done by yourself. Right? Nothing of any major significant was done in America or you doing it by yourself. You got to be in unity. That's to you and CQ and unity and unity with someone else. You got to look up to someone else. You can't do it alone. 
quit trying to do stuff by yourself. You ain't good enough to do it by yourself. You got to connect with other people and do it in unity. You, you really do. You need to find a mentor, right? A mentor. You can't know everything. Successful leaders surround themselves with mentors who help them steer them in the right direction. You got to find a mentor who's doing it at the level that you want to do it at. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you we are about to go into the fourth quarter. What are you willing to sacrifice? Have you been lacking energy and enthusiasm for whatever it is you're doing? Are you really committed to it? Or are you just involved? It's not enough anymore just to have your name on the roll and say that you are part of this. That's not going to fly in 2023. I'm here to tell you right now. Either you're going to commit to it and get it done or just decide what you want to do. But here at ACA, we're looking for people that are loyal, people that are committed to the cause, people that want to help in this mission-driven with our vision, our mission, and our purpose to put $1 billion of tax-free transferable wealth back in our community. It takes a commitment to do that. So I'm asking everybody, whether you're in ACA or in some other business or you have your own business, whatever it is, do it at your best level. Meet me here October the 6th. I'm doing a workshop talking about debt elimination, tax-free strategies, uh, replacing income, getting people out of debt, leaving a legacy here at uh, 7 o'clock on October the 6th, 7375 Executive Place, Suite 120 in Atlanta, Maryland. Some of y'all maybe already be retired and, and doing well. That's great. But what about your children? What about your grandchildren? They need to get this information. Get them here on that day. October the 6th at 7 o'clock. Uh, follow me on my social media platform. There's a link for that. Doesn't cost anything. We're giving out five gifts for the first five people that show up at the event. We're doing it virtually, and we're also doing it in person. And then in November, a lot of people have been asking me for this. I'm going to team up with Negate the Weight, and we're going to talk about some health and wellness. So there's a lot of good things that's going on here at ACA. And uh, you need to be a part of it. Spread the word. Let's get the word out. Nobody should be uncovered, with, especially as it relates to life insurance. Y'all know that's my passion, preparing people for the day, so that they can live a better life than you and I had a chance to live. So I challenge you to do that. And uh, next Tuesday, I'm not sure what the topic is going to be, but I'm sure I'll find out probably 6 o'clock, 6.15 in the morning when I'm doing my morning walk. We're going to come out with something interesting. And then I know October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. ACA agents will be wearing pink every Thursday. We did it last year. Uh, we want to let you know that we're in support. We're in prayer uh, for those people that have uh, dealt with breast cancer somewhere in their family. And also I want to send a special prayer out to our teammates in the state of Florida I know there's a hurricane that's coming, and we want to let you know that we appreciate you. We're in prayer for you, and hopefully uh, things won't be as bad as what they're projecting and that you'll continue to be here with us and serve us in a faithful manner. So that's all I got for you today, and uh, I look forward to talking to you again next Tuesday, same time, same place. Remember, we got to finish strong in 2022 so that we can break free in 2023. See you at the top. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Fuck, 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 fuck,